Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be looking at advanced conditional formatting. Now in our previous videos, we have already learned about conditional formatting. We have learned that what is conditional formatting and how it can be applied over the data in Microsoft Excel. But so far, whatever we have learned about conditional formatting was related to the rules that have already been defined by Microsoft Excel. And that was uh, easy to do as we had the full support of the GUI. All you need to do was select the data as the criteria and that rule was applied over the data. But now what are we going to do is look at advanced conditional formatting. So what is the difference between conditional formatting and advanced conditional formatting? The main difference is that conditional formatting gives you a proper support of GUI while in advanced conditional formatting, you got to move a step ahead and look at the formulas that you got to apply over the data to match the criteria. So let us start with advanced conditional formatting. On your screens, you all can see there is a table uh, with three columns, which has product, country and quantity. Now uh, I have this criteria where I want to search the product watches. Now I'm going to apply advanced conditional formatting to it to see that whether I can highlight this data or not. Since you can see that out of this data, we can make some assumptions. Now, what are these assumptions? The first one being that since we want to highlight the product, so only this watches thing must be highlighted. That means only a single column needs to be highlighted and only a single column needs to be selected because whichever product is occurring in that particular column, it needs to be highlighted. Okay. Suppose watches is occurring. So watches would be highlighted. So that is why only this products column needs to be selected, which is going to be our data source. So for applying the advanced conditional formatting, all you got to do is just first select this whole column that is going to be our data source. Then go to this conditional formatting. Here you have an option of new rule. You can just go to new rule and this kind of a dialog box will appear, which we have already seen. So this time you got to go with this last option, which is use a formula to determine which cells to format. So when you select this formula or this option, it asks for format values where this formula is true means you got to provide it with a formula. So what is going to be this formula? Uh, as we all know that every formula in Microsoft Excel begins with an equal sign. So you got to press equals. Then you got to provide it with which column you want to compare the data with. Since this is our column, so you can just select this first cell of the column, then press F4, F4, F4 until you get this exact cell number without any dollar sign or without any relative references. The reason why we are doing this cause uh, we want our criteria to be fixed with this particular column only that is column E and whichever row that matches the criteria. We do not want it to select any other thing that is why we have fixed it okay now we would be understanding it better with the later on examples but uh, let us understand this first of all then again put an equal sign now you are supposed to provide it with a criteria what is our criteria a criteria resides in this particular cell so just select the cell and you can go with these dollar signs cause this uh, cell is fixed okay then go to this format tab and you can select the formatting for your cells. Like I'm going with a, a yellow color because blue is already there. So I'm going with a yellow color and then you can click on OK. And then again, you can click on OK. Now, when you do that, you can see that watches has been colored with a yellow background color. And that's exactly what we wanted. But what if you just change it to something else? Suppose instead of watches, you provide it with floaters. Then what happens? There are two records of floaters and both of these floaters are highlighted. So that's simple that how you can highlight a single cell in Microsoft Excel. But what if you do not want to highlight the single cell? What if you want to highlight this whole record? Like you want also India and 300 to be highlighted and US and 550 to be highlighted. So how you can go with that? 
For this purpose, you got to do one more step. That is, instead of selecting a particular column, you got to select the whole data set. Okay. So first of all, just select this whole data set because our formatting is now going to cover all the columns uh, of this data set. Okay. So it's going to span through the different columns. That is why we have selected it. Then go to conditional formatting, new rule and this last option. Now there is going to be some change in our formula. Now what is this change going to be? You got to press an equal sign. Then you got to select this first cell. Then press F4 f4 now here you can see dollar e16 this is exactly what we want the reason being we want our column to be relatively referenced while we want this row number to change like we want it to first compare with 16 row number then 17 then 18 then 19 and so on up till this record exists but we want to highlight the relative columns means we want to highlight the column e also we want to highlight the column f also we want to call uh, g to be highlighted as well so that is why we have gone with this formula then again put an equal sign and the criteria is going to be same then go to format tab and you can choose a formatting of your choice suppose i am choosing this kind of a color and apart from the background color you can also choose a pattern for yourself Suppose I have chosen this uh, dotted pattern and if you want, you can just choose a color for this pattern as well. Suppose I have chosen this blue color to get this kind of a thing. If you want, you can choose any other color like this green color. Click on OK and again OK. So you can see the three columns in which the product criteria was watches was matched. Whole of these records are highlighted and since they are spanning towards different columns, we have relatively referenced the column number. What if we just change it to something else, say belts and press enter, then only this belts data is highlighted. That is how you can uh, select this whole record uh, that is uh, spanning through different columns. But what if we do not want it to span over different columns, we want it to span over different rows. So here what we have done is we have actually just created a copy of this table with some different data and we have transposed it. Now what we are going to do this time is just give it with a product criteria. But instead of columns, we want it to span over the different rows. Which means if belts is our criteria over here. So if the belts matches, then we want this whole three rows to be selected. And similarly for here, we want these three rows to be selected. So this is what we want to do. So how can we go with it? Similarly, as the previous example, we got to select this whole data set. First of all, go to conditional formatting, new rule and select this last option. And then in the formula tab, we got to press equals. Now the difference occurs over here. Here, first of all, you got to select this first cell only. Then you got to press F4 only one time. And you will see that the dollar sign occurs before 25. This time, what we are going to do is we are going to select different rows. Means we are going to select three rows, the row number 25, 26 and 27. That is why we have relatively referenced the row number while the column number is going to be uh, just compared with these different columns that is present like from F till K these different columns are present. So we do, do not want the multiple columns to be selected but multiple rows to be selected. That is the reason why we have put it in relative reference. Okay. So once you have done that, you got to press equals and then again provide it with a criteria, which is nothing but this, the belts. And then you can go to this format tab and here you can choose a formatting for yourself. So I'm just I'm using this kind of a shade of red for my formatting and then click on OK. And when you click on OK, then you can see that belts. There were two records that were matching the belts criteria. That is why these three rows uh, that had the product name as belts, which was our criteria, have been highlighted. Suppose what if we do not have the uh, criteria as belts, we have different criteria. Suppose we have floaters as our criteria. This time the floaters were our criteria. So the floaters records have been highlighted. So this is an 
added advantage of advanced conditional formatting. Using it, you can change the data at the dynamic time and it would be highlighted in your fields or in your table. But that was not possible with the conditional formatting we had done already. Cause in that we used the criteria to manually enter it. If you wanted to change the criteria, you got to change the, you got to clear the rules first and then you got to apply a new criteria. So that was a lengthy procedure. But here, what you got to do is you got to just change the criteria that is present over here. Suppose I select purse, then only this purse records is highlighted. Apart from that, if there is no criteria matching, suppose I add something like watches, which is not present in this table and press enter then you can see that nothing is selected why because there is no such record that is matching the criteria of watches and that is why it has not selected anything so that is an added advantage of advanced conditional formatting apart from that it also helps you to apply some formulas to the scene which is easy to understand and reduces your work effort drastically so if you want, I have already written the formulas about uh, of all these criteria that we have applied. If you want, you can just copy the formulas from here as well. So that is all about the advanced conditional formatting. And with this, our topic of conditional formatting also wraps up. So that is all for this video. Thanks for watching.